Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, who's coming toward you in regards to love? All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guides, please show me who's coming towards Sagittarius in regards to love. Who's coming towards Sagittarius in regards to love? All right, let's see. First card we have here is the moon. Wow, the moon is a popular card today. I feel like it keeps coming out today in multiple readings. Tell me more about who's coming towards Sagittarius. We have the Nine of Cups. We also have the Two of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Huh, Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, I'm definitely noticing a collective theme here in the energies. This feels similar to other readings I've done. So obviously there's a collective energy here. A common collective energy today. So with the moon and the knight of swords in reverse... Yeah, this person um, is someone who has a lot of feelings for you. There's a lot of emotions here with the moon card and with the knight of swords. Uh, this is a past energy, by the way. The moon represents the past. And with the knight of swords in reverse, this is someone who's been holding back from pursuing you, reaching out to you, texting you, calling you. Yeah, this is someone who's been holding back from um, taking any sort of action towards you because of some sort of fear that they have. But they definitely feel a very strong emotional connection and emotional attachment to you. With the Nine of Cups, this basically tells me that this person sees you as their wish fulfillment. Um, you make this person very happy. You make this person feel good. Yeah, I feel like this person loves you, honestly. I feel like this person loves everything about you. They love everything about you. Hmm. But yeah, something is making them feel like they can't take action towards you. However, this is who's coming towards you. So clearly they are going to end up taking action towards you. But it kind of looks like they really held themselves back for as long as possible. All right. Well, let's look into that. Let's see why. Hmm, what do I want to see? Let's take a look at the moon. Tell me about this moon energy spirit, please, in regards to who's coming towards Sagittarius. It could be a Cancer. It could also be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. Tell me about um, the moon. So we have the Five of Swords showing up. Uh, could be an Aquarius for some of you. We have the Ace of Wands. We also have the Star and the King of Pentacles. Ooh, yeah, this person uh, has... Oh, I see. Okay. This person has been avoiding you. This person has been trying to avoid you. They've also been trying to, like, ignore you. And, like, ignore... Ignore their thoughts about you. Ignore their feelings for you. 
But it it is coming from a place of ego with the King of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. It is coming from a place of ego. Clearly, it kind of looks like this person has some sort of resentment toward you. And they don't want you to know how they feel about you or they don't want you to know that they're thinking about you or that they have any desire for you. It's like they want you to feel rejected by them. So that's why they've been holding back and not saying anything to you because they want you to think that they're rejecting you or that they're, they, they want you to feel like they're giving you the cold shoulder. Like they want to make you feel like you're not important, you know, like they don't really care about you or like they're not really bothered by you. So clearly there's some sort of um, bitterness here, or resentment or like a grudge that this person has been carrying against you. With the Ace of Wands and the Star, it kind of looks like this person has been, you know, secretly, secretly wishing and, and hoping that you would take action towards them. So that was their, kind of looks like that was their plan here. Let me give Sagittarius the cold shoulder. Did I say Scorpio? I hope I didn't say Scorpio before. Um, some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio. I just did the Scorpio reading, so I have it in my mind a little bit. Um, but let me, their, their plan here was, let me give Sagittarius the cold shoulder, you know, let me not contact Sagittarius. Let me act very distant and disconnected from them so that it might provoke Sagittarius to, to come looking for me and to take action towards me. This is someone who was hoping to get a reaction out of you by them, um, by them shutting down and giving you the silent treatment. They were hoping it would trigger you and they, they were hoping you would show up you know, in some way. However, despite whatever bitterness this person has been holding or has been feeling, the resentment or grudge, with the Nine of Cups, it kind of looks like this person wants you. Like, emotionally, they want you. Emotionally, they they desire you. They They feel attached to you, uh, they want to be with you. It just kind of looks like they're upset or they've been feeling upset about something that happened between the two of you. Tell me about the Nine of Cups, Spirit. So, ooh, what did I say? Look at this. The Two of Cups. And this is clarifying the Nine of Cups. I mean, this is, this is powerful energy right here. Nine of Cups to the Two of Cups. Uh, 79. Um, I'm just doing the math. Yeah, Seven of Cups, basically. Um, nine minus two. Yeah, so this person definitely feels like you're the one for them. Like, there's no other option because the Seven of Cups represents having options. Um, this person feels like there's no other option that compares to you or is better to you or is better than you in any way. So they definitely see you as like the most important person in their life, like the person that they um, view as the highest value. The person of highest value and the person that they have 
the the strongest emotions for but because of whatever um argument or i don't know conflict that happened between the two of you they're in this energy of just feeling um they're in this energy of holding a grudge and wanting to make you feel like they don't care about you they don't have any feelings for you um they could care less if if you two are not together but that's far from the truth um they're just they're just trying to upset you because they're upset you know or they're just trying to hurt you because they're hurt so so it's like they're being spiteful mm. Uh, uh, anything else about the Nine of Cups, Spirit? In regards to who's coming towards Sagittarius. So we have, whoop, the Chariot card. There they are. Chariot is kind of like a traveling energy. Someone, that this is them basically traveling to see you. Or this is them taking action to contact you. And we have the Four of Cups. Yeah, again, same message here. The, um, there's something about... This person has options, because I can already see it here. Especially with the King of Pentacles. Male or female, doesn't matter the gender, but this person definitely has people around them that want them. The thing is that it's not reciprocal. It's... It, um, yeah, because I feel like there's one or more than one person that definitely um, is crazy about them or like, like desperately wants to be with them, with, with your person, Sagittarius. I, I feel like this person gets attention or like easily gets attention. It's almost like they're attractive. This person could be like very attractive. The person who you're dealing with here, Sagittarius, the person coming towards you, I feel like they're very attractive physically or just energetically. Sometimes people energetically are attractive, you know, and they, they draw people in. I, I feel like this person draws people in. And I feel like this person, like I said, um, they have options. There's, peop there's people that want to be with them. But they don't want to be with those other options. They want to be with you. They look at you as someone who has a lot of respect for yourself. And that's what makes you better than any other option in their eyes. Because they feel like you're someone who respects yourself. Yeah. They feel like you have self-respect and you also have self-worth. It's like you're very um what what would the what's the word like you're very dignified like you have integrity, you have dignity, you're not loose, I guess is the word like you 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 don't like sleep around, I guess you could say. Yeah, I'm getting that. Like, you don't sleep around type of energy. Almost like you're classy. You're a classy person. You respect yourself. You have high values and high standards. That's how they view you. And that's why they feel like you're better than any other option. I also feel like that's why they're in love with you because with the two of cups, this is an energy of them feeling love for you and being in love with you. It's because of the way you carry yourself. Again, I keep getting you carry yourself with so much respect. I keep getting the word respect. You carry yourself with so much respect. It, 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 that's what really makes them like fall in love 
with you, with your self-confidence. And like I said, you're, you know your worth and it shows. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So I guess they're over their little grudge here. I guess they're over it. They're ready to, they're ready to make up basically with the two of cups. They're ready to make up with you. All right. Especially because it kind of looks like you never took action towards them. Like you never came running after them. You know, I don't think this person would like you if you would have done that is what I'm getting here. It's interesting because I feel like this person has been like, they, they were trying to provoke you into, into like trait, sorry, into taking action towards them. They wanted you to chase them. But the thing is that I feel like if you would have done that, this person would have lost their feelings for you. Like they would have lost their attraction to you, if that makes sense. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have been, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have been attractive in their eyes anymore if you would have done that, if you would have chased them. Okay. All right, let's take a deeper look now at why is this person coming towards you? Let's take a deeper, um, deeper look into that. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me why is this person coming towards Sagittarius? What are this person's true and real intentions here with Sagittarius? Why is this person coming towards Sagittarius? What are their true intentions? So we have the King of Swords. We also have the Chariot, once again. And we also have the Page of Wands, double confirmation that this person will be reaching out to you. Bottom of the deck, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Ooh, interesting. Whoa, look at this. The Tower and the Two of Cups is here. Tower and the Two of Cups. Oh, look at that. Ten of Swords in the reverse. This is interesting. All right, we're definitely, we're definitely going to look into this. Because this looks like um, something surprising. The tower doesn't feel bad, you know, the tower sometimes is a negative energy. I just don't feel like it's a negative energy in this particular instance. No, it, it doesn't feel negative here in this context. So it kind of looks like with the chariot and the tower card, this person is going to surprise you. This person is going to surprise you. And I feel like it's because of something that they're communicating here with the King of Swords and the Two of Cups. Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. This could be a woman. Um, for some of you, it's an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. But I feel like this person is going to surprise you with their communication because we do have two cards that represent communication here, King of Swords and the Page of Wands. Both of these are messages. And I feel like it's related to their feelings for you. It kind of looks like this person is going to tell you how they feel in a way that they've never told you before. They're going to tell you or they're going to express to you how they feel about you in a way they've never done before. Um, but in regards to why they're coming towards you, um, yes, they're coming towards you because they want to um, 
work things out with you with the three of pentacles in reverse they want to fix things they want to repair the relationship with you they want to get back together um and recover the emotional connection that you two used used to have with each other they want to have that emotional exchange with you again It's what makes them happy with the Nine of Cups. Having, this, having an emotional exchange with, with you makes them feel good, makes them happy. They feel, like they're, they feel like they're in the company of their soulmates. They feel like they're in the company of, of, of the one, you know, the one that they want to have a life with um, and be with long term. Hmm. Okay, let me see if I can dig in a little bit because I'm trying to get some more information here. It's not telling me much. Like, I guess I want to know what they're saying, but um, that's going to be different for all of you. <laughs> I'm just being nosy here. I want to know exactly what they're saying. Tell me about the uh, King of Swords spirit. Uh, yeah, well, tell me about the King of Swords because the King of Swords doesn't really talk though. Tell me about that. The Queen of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles to the ooh, Ten of Cups. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Page of Pentacles. Wow. Oh, wow. So this person is jumping into this. This is interesting how they shifted from this energy to this energy. There's something about this person having a breakthrough, like having a personal breakthrough. And as they're having this personal breakthrough, they're also creating a breakthrough in this relationship with you as a consequence. Yeah, as a consequence, their personal breakthrough is, is, is causing a, a breakthrough in the relationship. Yeah, their, their own change, because there, there's the, something about this person is changing here. There's a big change happening in, uh, within them. And their own change is creating a change in, with you and, and in this relationship with you. So this person, it's almost like they don't want to play around anymore. It's like they're tired of playing games is what I'm getting. They're tired of like ha holding a grudge. Like they don't want to hold a grudge anymore. They don't want to go back and forth with you anymore. They don't want to play games anymore. They don't want to be in this, in, in an ego war with you or, or in an ego battle with you. It's like they don't want to be a child anymore. They don't want to be a, act like a act like a teenager anymore. They want to they want to move forward with you with maturity. Again, it just kind of looks like something switched inside of this person. Like just kind of like an epiphany, like a like a sudden epiphany. And they're coming towards you with an energy of, I want to fix this. I want to repair our relationship together. And I want to make sure that our relationship is bulletproof. I want to make sure that from now on, our relationship is going to continue to grow and expand and turn into a long-term emotionally fulfilling relationship for the both of us. It's kind of like they're in this energy of enough is enough. Enough is enough.
this is this has gotten out of hand or this has gotten out of control already like this this bickering or this i don't know what this is this fighting or this you know holding a grudge it's like they feel like it's gotten out of control they feel like um it's not doing anything for them it's not doing anything for you you know this feels like something like mercury retrograde because i mercury is about to go direct so i feel like things are starting to become clear in this person's mind of of what they want to do moving forward you know of where they want to be and what they want to manifest i feel like the the confusion is starting to lift and the the uncertainty or the you know wishy-washiness is starting to lift and they're becoming clear now on on the relationship that that they want to create with you and i feel like they're going to take action towards you to start a, a new chapter with you basically because we have the eight of pentacles to the ten of cups so this is like them being committed to creating a happily ever after in this relationship. Yeah, they're committed to it. Let me look at this page of wands. You know what? No, not the page of wands. It's the three of pentacles. Because I want to look at the problem. Like, like, what was the problem? What was the problem? So let's see the three of pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the three of pentacles in reverse, spirit, please. So we have the ace of cups. We have the world. Oh, wow. Two of Cups and the Three of Swords. Once again, we have the Two of Cups showing up here. Um, we have the World. We have the Three of Swords. I don't know. It, it looks like many things were the problem here. A lot was... A lot was... Uh, a lot was a pro were, was a problem. Yeah, because we have the world, world and the three of swords, so it's like multiple things were an issue here. But I feel like indecisiveness was a big issue also, or maybe like the main, the main issue, the main like overarching issue, indecisiveness. But I just don't feel like that. That there's no indecisiveness anymore. That's what's happening here with the tower card. Actually, tell me about the tower spirit. Let's take a look at this epiphany. It looks like an epiphany. Uh, so we have the nine of pentacles. We have the star, knight of swords, and here we go again with the king of swords. Double confirmation with the empress. King of Swords, Knight of Swords. That's the epiphany? Okay, well... Yeah, it just kind of looks like the, the epiphany here is that you're the one. I guess that's something that they were questioning whether, you're, whether you were the one or not. So it kind of looks like the epiphany here is that, uh, no, Sagittarius is the one. And it's, it's, more, it's, it's more clear than ever. It's more clear than ever. I'm just curious about how they arrived to this conclusion. I'm, I'm nosy. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm a Gemini ascendant. How did this person arrive to this conclusion? I analyze everything. That's just how I am. I guess it's an epiphany though. It just came to them. How does this person arrive to this conclusion? Ooh, King of Cups in reverse. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, I got it. I see. To the Five of Cups in reverse. Now we got it. World in reverse. Got it. All right. 
King of Cups in the red. Yeah, it's like this person just felt like, you know, it's not worth it. It's not worth it because every time, um, I don't know, every time we break up or every time we separate, um, I get overwhelmed with this feeling of loneliness. It's, it's overwhelming. This feeling of loneliness or this feeling of, of, of loss. Yeah, King of Cups in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. That's that's what's triggering this this switch here. In in their mindset, in their energy, it's like they're tired of like feeling this overwhelming like the moon here, moon, overwhelming feeling of loss, of lack, of loneliness. It's like they're tired of that. They don't want to feel that anymore. They want to have something here. They want to have something solid, something like that's secure, that's consistent. And maybe they were the ones that weren't secure and consistent, you know, and and I feel like they're recognizing them. They're acknowledging that them being indecisive or them being inconsistent, it's causing them their own pain, you know? They're hurting themselves. So it's like they don't want to keep hurting themselves anymore. They don't want to keep causing their own pain, their own misery. Yeah, it's like this person's tired of feeling overwhelmed. They just want to have something that's, um, what do you call that? That's um, predictable, you know? Like they, they, want, they want to live a predictable life. It's like they want to have a predictable relationship. They don't want to have like ups and downs anymore. Like they want to have like a predictable, simple, um, you know, balanced, stable, consistent relationship. It's like they want to settle down, basically. That's the energy. They want to settle down. They just want to settle down. Like they want to, they want to plant roots. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully that resonated. I kind of took a little bit of a deep dive into this person's psychology, basically. Um, so hopefully that made sense. Anyway, what am I going to do here? Let's see um, their actions moving forward. Let me take the original cards. What were the original cards? This one's Okay. All right. Let's see their actions towards you moving forward. Spirit angels and guys, what actions will this person be taking towards Sag Sagittarius moving forward? Yeah, I feel like this person is ready for like the white picket fence, you know? The white picket fence and the and the dog outside in the yard and you know, the children, the house. Kind of like normal, like they they're ready for a normal life, like a normal a normal relationship. <laughs> A normal relationship. All right, what are their actions towards Sagittarius? Moving forward, magician and their actions. Okay, what else? Also, what, oh, what, look at this, Eight of Cups in reverse. This definitely represents them coming back toward you to manifest something new. 
Two of Swords. Interesting. Bottom of the deck. Not, uh, wow. Wow. Very nice. Nine of Swords in reverse. Very nice. This looks great. Two of Swords. Nine of Swords. So in their actions towards you moving forward, Sagittarius. Hmm. Tell me about this magician spirit. Oh, there we go again with the Ten of Cups and the magician. More confirmation that this person wants to manifest this happily ever after with you, this stable relationship with you. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Yeah, the Three of Swords. Yeah, this is what they want to get rid of. The Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, yikes. And the Three of Cups. Okay, so it was ugly between the two of you. Very ugly. So it kind of looks like things in this relationship definitely got very ugly. Um, at some point between the two of you or um, at multiple points. Yeah, it got ugly and it got... Um, what do you call this? Like um, nasty, maybe? It got nasty between the two of you. This feels very like toxic, I guess you could say. It got toxic between the two of you. This person might have played around, by the way, with the Three of Cups and the Three of Swords. I feel like this person might have like, um, you know, like played around with other people, you know, played the field, uh, kept their options open, entertained other options out of, out of ego, out of immaturity, out of spitefulness. Okay, so this person was not nice. And this relationship was not nice in the past. But they're coming towards you to to stop all of that, to let go of that, to let to let go of all that negativity and toxicity, to make a change, and to push this relationship forward towards a more happy and fulfilling relationship for for the both of you and a more healthy relationship for the both of you. Um, again, it just kind of looks like this person has had some sort of big, all of a sudden breakthrough, epiphany, and yeah, they they just seem like it seems like they're just ready to change. They're just ready to make a big change here in their life. Uh, I feel like they're ready to like like I said, plant roots and and settle down once and for all. All right, Sagittarius, I hope this reading helped you in some way and I hope it made sense to you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.